Hi guys, welcome back. I have sort of a mini book haul for you today. Uh, these are books that are pretty much accumulated before Christmas and one that I purchased for myself after, so it's not really a Christmas haul. I don't actually get books for Christmas like for my family because I figure I work in a bookstore, I'm going to get a discount if I buy it myself, so why should they buy me a book? Instead I get gift cards, which is awesome, so somewhere down the line I'll be spending those uh, in the coming year. But um, today I just have uh, four physical books and two digital graphic novels that I want to share with you. And I'm going to start with the two digital graphic novels. Um, this is a series uh, called Archaeologists of Shadows. And um, <clears throat> book one is called The Resistance. And that's the cover of that one. And I'm going to bring up the cover of book two so you can see that one. That's uh, this one. Yeah, cover. cover. Yeah, that's book two. And this is um, book two is called Once a Nightmare. And it has super cool um, illustrations throughout the series. And what it is is basically uh, a story uh, set in a world where every living thing is required to become mechanical. And the authorities actually punish anybody who resists the transformation. And, uh, of course, there's going to be a revolt that takes place, and I'm sure it's going to be super cool. I happened to uh, spot this some time ago on Amazon. I put it on my wish list, and Shannon Haler, I'll put a link to her channel down below, very kindly chose these off my wish list and sent them to me out of the blue. I was totally amazed at her generosity, and I thank you so much, Shannon. I'm really looking forward to reading these. I can't wait to start them. And like I said, it's beautiful, beautiful illustrations, really detailed, and definitely check this out on Goodreads. I think you might find it pretty interesting. I only know of two books so far in the series. I don't know if there will be more, having not started yet, So, but we'll see. Um, so on to the physical books. Um, I picked up a copy Friday of Unravel Me by Tahiramaki. This is the second book in the Shatter Me series. I've been waiting for it to come out in paperback since I own book one in this version. Um, I love these new covers, much better than the original hardcover with the girl in the white dress. Didn't care for that at all. I think these are super cool. Um, I've read Shatter Me and I've read Destroy Me, which was uh, Warner's novella story. Um, and I'm really looking forward to picking this one up in the coming year. I picked up a ARC copy from work. This is actually an adult sci-fi uh, book. I'm not sure if it's standalone or not. I'm thinking it probably is. And it's just called The Martian by Andy Weir. And uh, I do like sci-fi. And I just kind of flipped through this thing. Um, it seemed kind of interesting. It actually had this little postcard in it. Uh, and this is this water. This perennial favorite is ideal for anyone who doesn't want to die a slow, agonizing death. They can be served directly or used as an ingredient in more complex dishes. It's simply a must for any meal. And it has like ingredients, one part all natural oxygen molecules. You can harvest them from local atmosphere for more natural results. Two parts free range oxygen uh, hydrogen molecules. Not available in all areas. You may need to be creative, but resist the urge to use as a substitute. If you do, you might end up with something like glass or rust. It's just like a really kind of humorous little account and stuff. But what it is is a story of um, an astronaut told from his point of view who is one of the first to land on Mars and possibly will become the first to die there because something happens, some sort of an accident, they have to evacuate suddenly and they actually think he's dead. And he's sort of like writing almost what seems to be almost like a journal type and uh, like log entries and things. And then I read the first line, actually the first couple of lines I'll read to you and, and I was hooked right there. Um, I'm pretty much fucked. That's my considered opinion. Fucked. Six days into what should be the greatest two months of my life and it turns into a nightmare. I don't know who will read this. I guess someone will find it eventually, maybe 100 years from now. For the record, I didn't die on Sol 6. So that hooked me right away. I love sci-fi. I love anything set on Mars or some other planets. So I picked this one up, and I'm looking forward to getting into this, hopefully in the coming year. And on this sort of same Mars theme, deals with the next two books. For those of you who follow my channel for a while now, you've probably heard me mention this particular series quite some time. This is uh, Sydney Swanson's Saving Mars series. Um, I've read the first three books. In fact, the author very kindly sent me this um, first book in the series signed for review, which I did a review some time ago, and you can find it on my channel. And I happened to notice on Twitter that she was talking about her fourth book being out on ebook, and I tweeted her back to find out when the release was going to be for the physical copy of it. And she very kindly said that she would send me a copy, which I was just amazed at her generosity. So I have a little package here, which I've already broken into because I couldn't wait. And the fourth book in the series, if I can get it out of the box, is Mars Burning. And I absolutely love these covers. They all have this sort of same look to them, very 
uh, universal here, you know, nothing, no cover changes or anything. So it's been quite lovely. And she again signed it to me. So thank you so much. I can't wait to get started in this. Uh, she also sent me a little bit of swag with it, which I thought was really cool. There's a, a bookmark that has the first two books on it, Saving Mars and Defying Mars. And she signed the back of it. And there's also this sort of like card here that's got several of the covers of Saving Mars and Defying Mars. And then her other series, which I also reviewed on my channel, this is the Rippler, uh, Ripple series. There's Rippler and the other two covers through here. And again, just sign a little a letter to me here. And also in there was this cute little button. And it's actually the first line from the very first book. And it's, uh, she was the kind of girl who slept with books on her bed. I just love that line. This is what kind of hooked me up. But the main character made me really uh, interested in what was going to happen to Jess throughout the series. So thanks again, Sydney. That was awesome of you to send that to me. Uh, and going on to the last book I have, this is something I ordered from Amazon, and I actually haven't opened it, so I'll go ahead and do an unboxing for you. Okay, paperwork. And this is actually book five in the Saving Mars series. I happen to notice uh, when I was poking around that not only was this one out, but this one was out. I didn't even know this was coming out. So somewhere along the lines, I lost track of it, and I went ahead and ordered it. And uh, I can't, I can't wait to get into these. Like again, there's some excellent covers. I just love the the looks of them. The storyline is amazing. Definitely try to pick that one up if you can for the first book in the series, which I just misplaced. Saving Mars. Like if you like YA sci-fi, you'll definitely love this series. One of my favorites. So that is my kind of mini book haul um, coming up. I hope to film my December wrap up my top 13 of 2013, and then sort of my plans for the coming year, what I hope to get read um, off my TBR list. So thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, let me know if you guys are going to try some of these out, or uh, yeah, what you guys got for Christmas, too, because like I said, I have, won't really have a Christmas haul, per se, maybe later once I spend some of those gift cards, but let me know what you guys got for Christmas. Thanks for watching.